Chen, and we are from Singapore, and we are from the Brandery Co. Today we are going to present to you our work. Please enjoy. A short summary of what to expect in our video will be our experience in designing the robot for the competition, our strategy, how we solve the challenges through programming, and our learning experiences. For our robot designs, we have different designs. We have used LEGO Mindstorm EB3 to display each and every one of our designs. Let's start with the side rollers. They will help the robot to move smoothly and will not jam the robot while doing evacuation. Front rollers help the robot to move up the slope more smoothly. The cage traps and holds the balls to be taken out at the evacuation zone later on. Hooks will allow the ball to go in and will not allow the ball to come out. This is displayed in the evacuation zone. Medium motors help to close and open the cage. A large motor operates the robot's movement. Tracks overcome the hump and slope. The ultrasonic sensor will detect the obstacle and avoid it. After that, it will continue to line trace. Suspendable front color sensors help to line trace on slopes from different heights as it keeps the sensor at optimal height. The back sensor helps to detect where the evacuation zone is. Tracks overcome the hump and slope. Suspendable front color sensors help to line trace on slopes from different heights as it keeps the sensor at optimal height. A robot uses the RGB function instead of color to sense green on the sections as the sensor might mistake green for blue in color mode. When the sensor is on the green square, the amount of reflected green light should be high and the amount of reflected blue light should be low. For a left turn, the robot will use single line tracing with a left sensor for a certain distance before reverting to normal line tracing and vice versa for a right turn. If it needs to make a U-turn, it will turn 180 degrees and continue normal line tracing. The obstacle, the robot will move backwards when it senses it. Then, it will circle around the obstacle. Once it has reached the black line on the other side, it will turn to position the color sensors to be ready for line tracing. For the evacuation zone, the robot will use the sensor on the cage to determine where the black triangle is. The robot can sweep the entire area of the evacuation zone in four sweeps. We are using the parallel line grid search method to sweep the area, which is a universal search method as referenced from the marine search and rescue team. The first thing we did when we got our program was to calibrate the sensors. Every sensor is different and their readings will be different. These are a list of the challenges we encountered and the solutions. Firstly, the robot loses the line during the 90 degrees turn. Hence, we make the turning sharper. Another problem we faced was that the ultrasonic sensor mistakes the slope as an obstacle. Therefore, we decrease the trigger proximity for the sensor. In addition, the robot struggles to climb the slope so we increased its speed. This year, it was a different experience altogether. We faced many challenges because of the virtual experience. We had to do PowerPoint and we were unfamiliar with it. We had limited time to complete the missions assigned, and we could not form a big team. Still, we put through all this with great teamwork and dedicated teachers.